Sicilian Defense, Open, Pelican, and Svshnikov, Chelyabinsk Variation, 9, B710.BXF6BXF611.C30012.NC2. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Black better navigated a chaotic middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The C pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the D4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on D4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on D4. Nc6 aids in maintaining control over the D4 and E5 squares. D4 offers to trade a center pawn for the C5 pawn in exchange for more control of the center and quick development. CXD4 provides black two key pawns while giving white only one. NXD4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. NF6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the undefended E4 pawn. NC3 defends the E4 pawn and puts more pressure on the D5 square. E5 takes space in the center and immediately attacks the knight on D4. And DB5 gets the knight away from danger, and threatens the strong ND6+. D6 stops the threat of ND6+, supports the E5 pawn, and allows the light squared bishop to develop. BG5 pins the knight on F6 and threatens NC3 D5. A6 kicks the knight off of the active b5 square. Na3 retreats the attacked knight, it will look for a new square on c2 after white plays c2 c3 or c2 c4. b5 gains space on the queen side and threatens to fork the knights with b5 b4. Nd5 places the knight on a center square and attacks the pinned f6 knight. b7 develops the bishop and prepares castling. bxf6 captures the knight attacks the bishop and increases white's control over the d5 square. bxf6 captures the bishop without doubling the f pawns and opens up the e7 square for black to use. c3 controls the d4 square and opens up the c2 square for the knight on a3. castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. and c2 reroutes the knight back toward the center, most likely to the e3 square. it is the last book move. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. This enables the adversary to seize the checking knight. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. This defends the attacked knight. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This gives the adversary the chance to win a tempo by posing a queen threat. It is incorrect. This wins a tempo by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. The pawns in front of the king could potentially double as a result. It is ideal. This poses a checkmate threat. It is incorrect. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. This prevents the opponent from being able to play checkmate. It is best. That was a truly amazing move. This threatens to fork pieces. It is brilliant. This takes down a knight who is helpless. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. This places a rook on the 7th rank, activating the rook and restricting the opponent's king. This is the only good move. This threatens to play checkmate. It is a great move. This wins a tempo by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This defends the attacked rook. This is the only good move. This threatens to win a bishop. It is a great move. This is the only move that works. This stops the opponent from being able to win a bishop. It is a great move. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is incorrect. This is the only good move. 
This prevents the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is a great move. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. There was just one smart move to be made. This is a missed chance to imply that winning a rook is possible. It is incorrect. This poses a queen winning danger. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. This threatens to prevent castling. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to defend a bishop that was under attack. It is a mistake. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This was a game-changing move, giving white a winning position. This prevents the opponent from being able to prevent castling. It is a great move. This threatens to prevent castling. It is excellent. This leaves a pawn without defenders. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is an inaccuracy. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This misses a better way to take an open file with a rook. It is a mistake. This blows the opportunity to achieve more equality. There was just one smart move to be made. That falls flat. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This took advantage of a mistake and white now has a winning advantage. It is a great move. The rook is now in a safe position. It is quite good. The king has lost its castling rights. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to block a check from the opposing rook. It is a mistake. This is the only good move. This was a game-changing move, black is no longer in a losing position. It is a great move. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. As a result, the adversary may promote a passed pawn. It is incorrect. A passed pawn is pushed by this. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. This misses a chance to make a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. There was just one smart move to be made. By doing this, a chance to advance a defeated piece is missed. That falls flat. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. There was only one good move in that position. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a queen. It is a miss. This missed a move that would have produced a winning advantage. It is a miss. Equality is within reach, but this move doesn't get there. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This permits the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a miss. This wastes an opportunity to take the lead. This passes up the chance of advance a passed pawn through promotion. That falls flat. This defends a bishop that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. This was a game-changing move, giving black a winning position. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is a great move. This prevents the adversary from gaining an advantage. It is quite good. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. That's good. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This fights against the opposing rook for the open file. This is the only move that works. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is a great move. That's a decent move. That's good. This is how you impress a queen. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This protects a knight who was being attacked and lacked defense. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This allows a forced checkmate. It is an inaccuracy. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. 
both players had an amazing opening. Black better navigated a chaotic middle game. With the right follow-up, this will lead to checkmate. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Black better navigated a chaotic middle game.